everyone. I am Dylan McGee. I am the founder and executive producer of Makers. And welcome to another Makers at Home Live. Today, we are going to talk to Sint Marshall, who is the CEO of the Dallas Mavericks. I was never a basketball fan until I met, met Sint Marshall. Now I'm all in, but I'm learning. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully those of you who are our Makers friends know that the way we usually introduce people is through a video. And I highly recommend that if you haven't already, that you go and watch um, Sint Marshall's profile video. It's beautifully done. It's so inspiring. All right, everybody, please welcome the amazing Sint Marshall. It's waiting. And can you see me? We can't play music on this, but I'm going to do this for you. I'm okay. singing the Sint Marshall theme song. I'll sing, you come in, but don't make me sing too long. Okay, okay. Okay, okay here we go. Three, two, one. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Wait, one Ain't more. No Ain't no river high enough. All right. To keep me from getting to you, sister. That's right. Only for you when I sing live on Instagram. I love you. I love you. So okay, I'm gonna take my glasses off so I can see you. Is that okay? Okay, good. All right, now we can start. Yes, and, let's start. How are you? Right, tell me, first of all, where are you? I am in my home office, the downstairs home office. In fact, you'll see a picture of my family right there. Oh. You see that? Yes. My honey. And so I'm in my downstairs office. And I have like taken over the house. So I have like three different stations all over the house. So my husband has relegated himself to either the backyard or the bedroom because I am fully in charge right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm where my husband charge. is? I'm always in, in charge. Bedroom. But I'm in charge at home right now. Yes. yes. Yeah, you are. You're in charge of it all. Yes. Yes. And I'm so, having a ball. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm doing great now. Seeing are your you paper. healthy? Safe, family, Our everybody. Safe. Yes, we're very lucky. And you, same? That's the main thing. I mean, that's the main thing right now for my family, for our employees. We just want everybody healthy and safe. All their other stuff is just, you know, side stuff. I mean, it, it really is. But you guys have been extraordinary. I know the NBA was the first association to sports leagues. I remember, I don't know my sports lingo, but yes. to pull out, right? Yes, we were the first one. We suspended our games the night of November, uh, March 11th. And we were the first uh, league to basically shut down and to just say we need to take a hiatus and see what's going on because it, it was just so bad. We had a player who had uh, contracted the, the virus. And so we shut down. And then the very next morning, so we, you know, we were already planning. Uh, we didn't know exactly you know, when or if it would happen, but we were ready just in case. And so then the next morning I huddled with our team and we sent everybody home and basically just said, this is mental health time. We don't know what's getting ready to happen here, but you need to go home, just be with your family. If you have kids and the schools are st you know, starting to talk about shutting down and all that, just get your life organized and then we'll talk to you on Monday. And so that was on a Thursday morning. So we sent everybody home first. So we were some of the first to do that. Yeah, amazing. And then you've also, not only have you sort of started thinking about your team and protecting your team, but I know that you guys have also been giving back to the community. Oh, it, it is amazing what's been happening. You know, we said from the beginning that we would pay all of our employees and anyone who was going to work a game during that hiatus. So we had, you know, six games during the hiatus and then one extra. So we paid all the arena workers, all the game day workers. We didn't want anybody to you know, even think about having a financial crisis in the midst of this health crisis. And then we just said, okay, what are we about? We always say it's bigger than basketball. Mm -hmm. We always say we are champions on and off the court. So now we get to play the game of life with the world. So what are we going to do? And so we focus a lot on nonprofits. We've been focusing on feeding the healthcare workers who are on site testing and in various hospitals. Uh, we provided uh, childcare 
uh, services for health workers because, of course, their whole world has uh, changed right now. We've been donating to food banks and just trying to do a lot of things to really show that we care. Um, and we, um, you know, it's working. All of our employees have chipped in. The players are chipping in. Uh, we're just all about community right now. Uh, I, you know, you know one of my favorite quotes because we've talked about it before. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so right now we're showing people how much uh, we care. So it, it feels good. It's a horrific situation that's going on right now. Uh, but the Dallas Mavericks have truly, truly stepped up. So we feel good about what we're doing. Well, you know, I'm seeing all these comments go by saying, yay, true leadership. I mean, you really are. It, it makes such a difference. You know, it really, I'm finding in these times that it's, it's the true leaders are really shining and, and, and when making people first. And oh, they, yeah. You know, it, it's, it's all about leadership. You know, I, I tell people all the time, I love my boss. Okay. Uh, but Mark Cuban has really uh, stepped out in the leadership capacity around helping small businesses, you know, making his voice known in the public policy process about how quickly we need to move to get people paid. I mean, all of that. So it's been amazing to watch him step out. I mean, literally from the beginning, from, from making the decision to pay our people all the way through what he's doing now every day, he is just out there advocating uh, for, for everybody. And especially for the person that, you know, we may not always think about, you know, the, 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 health, the, the healthcare worker who's out there who needs child care, the uh, person who's working at a restaurant that's closed down right yeah. now, and maybe they lost their job, the small business who uh, is almost out of business right now. I mean, we are actually reimbursing our employees for the meals that they buy from these uh, mm -hmm. local establishments to help keep them in business. I mean, we're, you know, we're helping our, our employees as well, but we're trying to keep these people in business. So whatever we can do, I mean, we're literally, we wake up every day thinking, what can we do to keep folks in business? Oh, and yes. I, you know what, even beyond business, I see you, one of your son or daughter, I didn't see the name, but is saying, go mom. So you're clearly oh, doing a good job at home too. That's probably Ken Anthony, who is in California. And you know, California was one of the first states to uh, basically do a shelter in place. And so those first seven counties, I have family there. And so I talk to him uh, often to make sure he's staying in and talk to my mom and all that. Uh, but, you know, um, it's about family. It truly yeah. is about family, you know, work family and your home family and making sure you're taking care of everybody. Uh, I have a big concern. and We'll talk about it at the very end, I'm sure. Yeah. Kind of my passion and my cause right now. In fact, I'll show you a picture. The one who's saying go mom is probably right there behind me. Oh, sitting next to me. Can you see it? Wait a minute. I can there see it. Yes. That's the family portrait that some of them don't like, but too bad. Mom gets to decide <laughs> because it's probably like 12 years ago, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's all about family. It's amazing. Yes. And speaking of your other family, so how are the players keeping in shape and what, what are they doing? Okay. So first of all, what they're doing mainly is reaching out to the community. So they are buying meals. They are actually assisting uh, educators with virtual learning. They're showing up to teach the science of basketball in virtual science classes. Wow. Uh, they're, re they're, they're doing reading challenges with kids. Uh, so they're actually doing a lot of community service. They're making public service announcements with public officials about you know what to do to stop the spread of this virus. So they're doing a lot of great stuff like that. And then of course they're staying in shape. So yeah. you know, they have their home equipment. And so I'm sure they're anxious uh, to get back to basketball, but we're all on the same page. I mean, we're all on the same page with Adam Silver saying right now it's about health and safety and what's going on in the country. So they're staying in shape. Okay, good. Um, yeah, they're staying in shape. But you know yeah, they're I, my I've favorite team, even though I don't yes! play basketball. Yes, Go out. Yes. Well, you see, yes. I'm repping the Mavs. This is my home. This is my outfit every day. So I have on my Mavs hat. Okay, I got my little Mavs pin. Hold on, let me show you. Where is it? Okay, you see that? Yeah. These are my Mavs sweats. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I got Mavs everywhere. I got my oh. blue and white earrings. So I'm repping, I'm repping the Mavs well, all day, every day. You want to know, I'm repping you because every time I see you, you are wearing, I haven't seen the Mavs outfit. I've seen you on stage in your like beautiful cardigans. And so today I woke up, I was like, I'm still going to wear sweatpants, but I'm you wearing, go, girl. My, I'm wearing my good. cardigan for scent. You look good. So that, that's the scent cardigan right there. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But I'm in my Mavs sweat, so it'll be hard for me to just put on my regular clothes and my heels right. to That'll go back to work. Hard. Maybe I'll just do the tennis shoe thing from now on for the rest of my life. 
So I, I sort of want to tap into your, um, you, you're just such an inspiring leader. And Ooh, thank um, you. And, and, and what is it, you know, tell us a little bit about what it took to turn around the culture at, at the MAPS and your 100 day plan. And, you know, what got mm -hmm. you through all that? Okay, so what it took, I think, was a vision from the beginning. And so from the time I talked to Mark and we did the press conference, hold on, I'm going to put my glasses back on now. Okay, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, you, you have to tell me what looks the best. Because you know, I got to rep, I got to rep my Mavs blue glasses. Okay. Okay. Okay, but I got to be able to see. All right, so um, we focused on a vision. And so from the very beginning, we laid out a vision that said the Dallas Mavs would set the global standard for diversity and inclusion in the NBA. I mean, we just wanted to set the standard and to let people know that you can really have a diverse and inclusive culture and do well in sports. I mean, you can have it and do well uh, anywhere. And then we laid out a set of values and those values spell crafts, character, respect, authenticity, fairness, teamwork, and safety. And so when we laid that out, our hashtag is perfect our crafts. And what we wanna do every day is perfect our crafts. And so uh, we wanted to focus on uh, diversity first, so we needed to get a diverse group of leaders at the table. And as you said earlier, our leadership team now is 50% women. Yay! I'm so excited about And they're fabulous. I mean, they are phenomenal. I can't, I can't name them all. I know at least one who just had a baby is watching. That's Erin Feingold. I think you guys have you talked to Erin before on the phone. She just had a baby January 21st, so she's coming back on Tuesday. So yes, the Mavs is a great place to work and be a mommy and daddy and just do all of that. Uh, Katie Edwards leads our, leads our community relations effort, and she is so busy right now. Uh, so we have a lot of women. Tarsha LaCour is our head of human resources. Uh, I could go on and on. So we have great men and great women around the table uh, running the Dallas Mavericks, and we just have a great uh, culture. It's an inclusive culture. Uh, Gail O'Bannon uh, leads our diversity and inclusion organization, and so we created a workplace promise. And so our promise to you is if you work at the Dallas Mavericks, it is a place where every voice matters and everybody belongs. It's that simple. And so our values are on the wall. And what I told our team is these values would be on the wall, but they would operate in the halls. Every decision we make, everything we're about is all about uh, these values. And so we have employee resource groups in place. Uh, we put together a holistic agenda that even included uh, supplier diversity and making sure we increase our spend with women-owned businesses and all that. And so now that's up to beyond 50%. Yay! Uh, yes, minority and women businesses. So everywhere you look, I mean, talent, just all of it, all of it. So how do you, so everyone right now is looking to leaders. And if you had to give a piece of advice to leaders leading right now um, in this crisis, what, what advice would you give them? Okay, here's what I would t tell them. I call it my new dot com. And it kind of came to me last week uh, and I sent a letter to our team. So every week, we have our all team weekly huddle. So communication is a lot. And I was, you know, pinning my every Friday letter to them. And I just told them, I said, here's what I am mindful of these days. And it's my new dot com. And I'm going to actually like show it to you. Okay. Let me okay. see if I can show it to you. Hold on. We love show and tell. Can you see that? Hold on. In fact, hold on. I'm going to change the camera. Hold on. Hold on. My son is laughing right now. He's probably thinking, mom, come on. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can change this. Uh... I'm not going to try to change it. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. David Hur, who is on our team. Come here, David. No, come here. I want you to hold something. I don't need you in the camera. I'm in the camera. Just me. Just me, buddy. Okay, so look. So David, come over here, David. Come on, David. David is our chief technology officer. He came to put in a new monitor in the house. So hold, hold that up, David, so they can see. Hi, David. Okay, so it says my new dot com. Can you see that? I can see compassion, communication. Oh, yeah, my new dot com. Okay. Yes. Compassion, communication, community, compromise, and compliance. And what I told our team is what I'm mindful of these days is people need compassion. And, you know, I have it so I can give it. We can't over communicate with our teams uh, because people just want to know what's going on. Community service is in great demand. So we can give either our time, talent, or treasure. Uh, we can't compromise our health while taking care of other people. And I have a, you know, a compromised immune system from having chemotherapy. So I'm, I'm mindful of the fact that I have to take care of my physical, mental, and spiritual health before I can see about anybody else. Wow. And Good. we have to comply. We have all these mandates out there. We have to follow the rules and stay home. And then we have to be role models and a leader 
for our people. So we can't be out and about in the office and running back and forth. Right. If the governor or the Dallas County judge or somebody says stay at home, we have to comply. Yeah. So here it is again, the new dot com for leadership, compassion, communication, community, compromise and compliance. That's the new dot com. If we focus on those five things as leaders, we can get our people through this. All right, leaders, we're, we're blasting it out to all of you. You heard it. The um, new dot com. The new dot com. The new Got it here com. first. You always yes. have a good name for everything. You so, know it. Tell me what we so we talked to everybody about what are the three things that have been getting you through? Okay, so the three things that have been getting me through, uh, let's see, uh, I'll show you my crystal balls and rubber balls. You seen those? <laughs> okay, can you see those? No. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. There's my rubber ball. You got it? Okay, I got it. Okay, so there's my rubber ball. And okay. then, of course, I have my crystal ball. Okay. okay. And so this is to remind me every day as I'm sitting in this office, what's important the things that are crystal they're important they shatter i can't bring them back so i gotta take care of them and right now it's my team i gotta see about them i gotta help get them through there they are in my family they're, that's crystal right now okay, crystal then, then i have my mav stuff i got my mavs hand sanitizer and yes we passed out a hundred thousand of these units already and more to come so we have hand sanitizers uh we're getting ready to do a big mass project uh, all of that so my mavs hand sanitizer my my Mavs mask that I actually made myself. Oh, but we're right. actually having some professionally made to give out to the medical community. But so you made that mine. one. Yeah, I made that one. It's a Mavs headband. Okay. Of course. Of course. Yeah. And so I just put like some scrunchies that I stole from my daughters. Yeah. And and so that's my mask now. So when okay, I go give us the a front... little visual. A little visual. Okay, let's see if I can do a little visual. Okay, David, you need to come and hold the phone. David, you need to help <laughs> it's me. It's okay. Or David. David, you it's need okay. to help me. You can't just stand out there. You got to well, help me. You just got to tell me what to do. Okay, tell you what to do, like I always do. Okay, look. You see that? You guys see that? I see, see it. We see it. We see it. We see it. You see it? Okay. And now you can see, like, all my mab sweats and everything. See my mab sweats? <laughs> come in, David. Okay, let me, let me Come in, David. Okay. I'm feeling really inadequate without any Mavs merch so here. Okay, I'll okay. you one. This is my, I mean, literally made it from a Mavs headband. You just put it on like that, put it there, that's it. So this is what I use when I run to the door because the food is being delivered and my husband has the TV blasting all the time. So I have to stop on my conference calls and run to the door to get it. So I got my mask, my hand sanitizer, my dot-com stuff. And then come on, I got to run through the house real quick. Okay, good, good, good. We love running through the house. Okay, come on, we're running through the house real quick. I know we okay. only got like 15 minutes. We're running through the house. We're running through the house. This you is know, the house. Everything is Easter like. Okay, everything is Easter because it still is Easter. Okay. Your house is looking done. a lot better than mine. I just, even in this fast four. Okay, but this, the, okay. the garage doesn't look great, but I'm going to show you the treadmill <laughs> back here. Can you see the treadmill back there? Oh, yes. Okay, and then the elliptical over here. You see the elliptical? Can you see it? I, I see it. You're doing okay. them all? Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I am really trying to focus on my physical health and getting back into a great exercise routine because I have all my calls and we have our little system set up where we're touching people every day, but I have to take care of myself. So I try to hang out in here in this crazy garage. I got boxes everywhere because my daughters are moving because it's time for them to get out. Um, <laughs> and so I'm out there with those boxes and my machine. So now I'm going back into my home office. And I'll oh my God, I love being in the house and walking around. And you know what, while you do that, I'm, it, it is so important. I think one of the things, you are such a giver and you take care of so many people, but I'm glad to hear that you are making sure that you're healthy and taking care of your. Well, I have to, okay. Uh, my Easter table, did you see my Easter table? Oh. Those are all my bunnies. Well, see, I miss it's my good tea. to keep that energy going too. We do have to keep moving on and celebrating. And Well, we have to keep celebrating, I mean, at the end of the day, we are in a horrific situation right now. I mean, it's bad. People are dying, and so we're praying for them all the time. We're trying to see what we can do. But we have to also be mindful of the fact that we are still here, and there are just some things we need to do. And it just hit me the other day. You know what? It's Easter. And normally, I put all this stuff out, and I do all this. And, I, and I, trust me, I know better than the Easter Bunny, okay? I know what Easter is all about. Uh, but that's just a way that, you know, for me and my kids to kind of come together around yeah. that particular time of year. And I just said, no, I'm putting my stuff out. And I'm probably about two weeks late with it, but I want to stay focused 
on the here and now, but also what's going on because um, a lot of people need us. Yeah. All right, Cynthia. Well, you know, since one of the things that you brought so much joy to me was you uh, you would have a tiara. <laughs> now you gave me a tiara. And I have it in my office, which I have not been in for three weeks. Okay, so well, I, I have it right you here. Put on your tiara. I have it right here. Come back, okay. David. Okay. You see it? I see it, and I want you to know that I made one in your honor. Get you back one. I made and you one. You see my hair? My hair is all slicked back. Okay, I've girl. gone the nature route because do-it-yourself is not my project. It's uh -huh. not my strength. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I there is my. Tiara made in your honor. I mean, I love they that. work, right? I love you. It works. It works. And so now I got to do is just get you a, a Mavs headband mask to go with it. Yeah. And, then and you are ready. I love that. Yes, I keep this right here in my uh, office here so I can remind myself and all the other people around here that I am still the queen of the castle. And now they get me more often than not. But to remind myself that I do have a big job to do for my family and for my home family and my work family and now for the community. So I keep it here to remind me of that. And my hair is all slicked back. I think I'm probably going to have an afro by the time I get back to the office because I can't get my hair done, but that's okay. I got my mask hat. All right. Well, I, I am so honored that you gave us this special time and I know it's such a crazy time for you and just, you're a quote machine. So if you wanted to leave us all with one of your famous scent quotes, what would you tell us? Uh, I would tell you that people matter and that's all that matters. Especially at this point in time, it's hard to really try to produce any results or be productive. Um, I told our team, I mean, obviously we're not going after season ticket renewals and try to get more sponsors. We're not focused on that right now. It is all about people and how we can make a difference in people's lives. So I would just tell people to get mad, really get mad, M-A-D, make a difference. That's <laughs> it, get mad. All right, Sint. Well, sending you so much love. Thanks for bringing joy into our lives. And I love you. The world. Love you. I love you. Stay healthy, stay safe. You too. Bye. Bye.